If you've done any amount of ammunition research, you've probably seen high speed footage of bullets hitting ballistics gels. It's eye catching, it's interesting, but the accuracy that is really being shown here depends a lot on what type of gelatin is used. For decades, ammunition manufacturers in the FBI have relied on a specific material referred to as 10% ordnance gelatin to test bullet performance. This yellowish medium is made using an established recipe that results in gel with a very specific density and other properties. This gel is also tested prior to use by firing a steel BB into it at 590 feet per second. Properly calibrating the gel will allow the BB to penetrate between 8.3 and 9.5 centimeters. If it doesn't, the gel will not react to bullets similar to tissue, making it useless for accuracy in assessing a bullet's performance. And that brings us to an important point. All gel is not created equal. Looking online, you'll no doubt see bullet performance videos and photography using clear materials or other types of gel. They might look cool, but these materials do not give a consistent and accurate picture of how the bullets will perform in real tissue. Even true 10% ordnance gelatin made with FBI accepted formulas might not perform properly if it was made with water that was too hot or kept at an improper temperature prior to testing. So don't put stock in bullet demonstrations that show clear gel or other alternatives because there is no substitute for the real thing, which is 10% ballistics gelatin.